I don't want anything from you. It's not like I can expect anything nice from an orphan such as yourself. Grandma, Stephen is a decent and honorable man. I don't think so. Why your grandfather gave his blessings to your marriage, I'll never understand. No one in the family likes him. I'm just the only one brave enough to say so. It's enough. It's okay, Carrie. Really. You see, he knows his place. Don't you? I had such high hopes for you, Carrie. Such high hopes! Do you know what would make a nice present, Stephen? What's that? You could divorce Carrie and let her marry Cullen Henderson like I wanted her to so many years ago. Now that would be a nice present. Now pass me a present. And it better be expensive. I grew up as an orphan and poor, but I was about to discover I had more money than God. How incredibly rude. No shock there. The orphan boy has no manners. Sorry, I'll just be a minute. Hello, is this Stephen? It is. This is the hospital. Miss Jane asked us to call you. Miss Jane was my caretaker at the orphanage, the only person in the world who was kind to me. And? She isn't doing as well as we'd hoped. It looks like she will have to have the surgery. Okay. Yes, of course. What's wrong? It's Miss Jane. Her kidneys have gotten worse and she needs surgery. Oh no, Stephen, I'm so sorry. I thought the doctor said the dialysis would work. And apparently things are worse than they thought. If surgery is so expensive. You know, if you need the money, you can always ask Grandma. I'm sure she would lend it to us. Surgery is going to cost a quarter of a million dollars. I doubt she'll lend us that much. She hates me, Carrie. No, she does. Okay, fine, she does. But it can't hurt to ask. Maybe if she hears about it, she won't understand. I'll ask her. No, I should be the one to do it. Lisa. What is it now? Go on. Miss Jane, the woman who took care of me at the orphanage all those years, she's in kidney failure and she needs surgery. So? So, she means the world to me. And I was wondering if I could borrow some money to help her. And how much is this surgery? A quarter of a million dollars. I see. I just figured, as generous as you are, maybe you'd like to do something nice for someone as a birthday gift. You figured all that, did you? You come to my house on my birthday. You give me nothing. You have nothing. You leech off my granddaughter. And you have the audacity to ask me for money for some random woman's treatment? It's not some random woman. She's someone that I care about. How can you care about someone if you have no money to care for them with? Miss Jane took care of Stephen and many others out of the kindness of her own heart. And Stephen just wants to repay that. It is my birthday for crying out loud. Unless the two of you are going to tell me that you're getting a divorce, I don't want to hear anything. I'm not divorcing him! Believe it or not, not everybody marries for money. Some people marry for love, like us. And is that how he shows his love? By forcing you to beg for money? <sighs> Once an orphan, always an orphan. All right. If you want the money, you kneel and beg for it, and I'll give it to you. What? Grandma! Be quiet, child. I need you to see what you've tied yourself to. This is what he is and will always be. You heard me. Neil. Bang. Please, Lisa. I know you think I'm worthless. Maybe I am. But none of that matters. 
Miss Jane is about to die, and I will do anything I can to help her. Please help me. Please. I'll pay you back with everything I've got. All right. I'll give you the money, and you can pay me back by divorcing my granddaughter. Divorce my granddaughter, and let this family be done with you. How dare you! How dare you interfere in my life? Someone has to. You obviously have no sense of your own. I just can't believe her. I'm gonna go make some calls. See if anyone can help. We won't let anything happen to Miss Jane. And I'll go visit her now. I should be there for her. Thank you for sticking with me. Where else would I go? I'm here to see Jane Goodwin, please. Are you related? In a way. She's like a mother to me. Can I see some ID, please? I'm sorry. I'm afraid she's been moved, sir. Moved? Where? She's been moved to another hospital. I'll write the address down for you. But I was just told a few hours ago that she was to have surgery, not that she was being moved. I'm trying to come up with $250,000 on my own. Actually, it says that her condition got worse, and her surgery will now cost almost $3 million. $3 million? Yes. Oh, but, uh, but it says here that the bill has already been paid in full. What? I don't have $3 million. There's no way. The benefactor who paid her medical expenses is the one who had her moved to the new facility. But who paid for it? That's confidential. I'm sorry. I suggest going to this new hospital and asking them. Okay. Thanks. Just hours ago, all hope seemed lost. But now, Miss Jane was in good hands. But whose hands were they? Who was taking care of the bill for her treatment? Stephen, don't be afraid, sir. My name is Sean Drake. We met before, a long time ago. I know you. My parents are dead because of you. Sir, please. You insisted they drive across the country. They were so concerned with making good time. They fell asleep at the wheel. They never even saw that truck that hit them. I was thrown into an orphanage after that, and that's all your fault. Life can be cruel sometimes. Why are you here? Are you stalking me? You've got some nerve. It's about your family, sir. Your real family. My real family is dead because of you! Didn't you hear what I said? Your grandfather, sir, he sent me. Excuse me? My grandfather? He didn't know what orphanage you were sent to. He couldn't find it despite how hard he tried. It seems the files were lost. Got lost? It's been 20 years. Why are you doing this? Why now? Why did no one come find me after all these years? He tried, Stephen, for years. He tried every avenue. He had a team of experts looking everywhere, using AI to aid your likeness by 20 years to track you down. I don't understand. It was Miss Jane Goodwin that was the missing piece. When she was hospitalized, we found her detail and tracked her back to you. I was sent to find you, to see if it was really you. Who is... who is my grandfather then? Mr. Winston Gemsworth. He'll be overjoyed to hear the news. Winston Gemsworth is my grandfather. One of the richest men in the world is my grandfather. He's the one that paid for Miss Jane's treatment and had her moved to another hospital. Look, he wants to see you now. Let's go. He'll explain everything more. Was this a sick joke? I needed to find out if this was all really true. Was I really related to one of the richest men in the world? Stephen. Mr. Gemsworth. Oh, please don't call me that. You're my grandson. Oh. How long I've looked for you. All my prayers have finally been answered. You look just like your father. I do. You do. Do you, uh, remember him? No. I 
And yes, it was so long ago. I, I don't know if I remember him. Just bits and pieces. Nothing makes sense. I can't remember his face or mom's. It's all right, my child. It was many years ago. You were quite young. I'm sorry we, we left you alone for so long. Come, we have much to catch up on. Winston shared stories about my parents. While I told him about my life, I couldn't believe I finally had family of my own. You're more than welcome to move in here, of course, with your wife as well. Oh, uh, no, we live in an apartment. Apartment in town, yes, I know. But this is your home too. Besides, now that you're back, I gotta get you up to speed on family business. Who else is gonna take over when I'm gone? You mean, you want me to inherit this? Of course, you're my only grandson. I don't know what to say. This is yours as much as it is mine. Thank you, Grandpa. Enough about the past. Let's look toward the future, shall we? Have you heard of the Sterling Group? Of course. It's impossible not to if you live in New York. Well, as of this afternoon, I own it. You do? Indeed, and if you accept, I'd like you to be president. You want me to be what? You heard me. Do you accept? Well, of course I do. Great. Sign here. You start tomorrow. You should let your wife know it might be a few long days to get everything situated. Smooth transitions make for better business, as you know. <laughs> Stephen, where are you? It's a long story, Carrie. But the good news is, everything's gonna be okay. What do you mean everything's gonna be okay? Did you get the money? Not a lot makes sense right now, but you have to trust me on this. Everything is taken care of. We're gonna be okay. You, me, Miss Jane. It's all gonna work out. I'm worried. It's just so hard to believe. I'm handling everything. Just give me a few days to get the details worked out, and I promise I will explain everything we will finally be able to live outside your family's shadow. Okay. I trust you. I love you. I love you too. Not only was I now heir to the Gemsworth family fortune, but my new duties as president of the Sterling Group took up much of my time. I jumped right into both roles, learning more about my family while also learning more about the family business. However, while going through some files, I found a Sterling Group partner that looked familiar, the Hopkins Group, also known as my wife Carrie's own family. It looked like most of the Hopkins family deals were with the Sterling Group, and with access to their files, their entire life was now in my hands. And after how Carrie's grandmother Lisa treated me, I was all too happy to find any dirt I could. Wait, what's this? I couldn't believe I was sitting on a gold mine of information on my wife's cruel grandmother. The question was, what would the file say? Lisa Hopkins was suspected of hiring a hitman to take out her own husband? I could not believe what I was reading. We were led to believe that Grandpa Hopkins died of natural causes, but these files held proof that that was not the case. Here it was in black and white. Lisa likely killed her husband to inherit his fortune. I have to tell Carrie about this. Then I realized I couldn't. Not until I knew more. I needed to get the facts straight first before going to her. Information like this could ruin a family and a marriage. My days were filled with meetings as the new president of the Sterling Group, but my mind never stopped thinking about Lisa Hopkins and her criminal case. This is Steven. Hello, Steven. Who is this? 
I have some information regarding Mr. Hopkins' death. What do you know? Who is this? Happy to tell you. If you're willing to pay for it. Yes. Of course. Any price. Next week. Meet me at Grand Central Station. I want $10,000. Fine. How will I find you? You'll know. But how? Pleasure doing business with you. Especially when it hurts Lisa Hopkins. Who is this? <laughs> Who was the mysterious man on the phone? What evidence did he have against Lisa Hopkins? Why did he hate her as much as I did? Hi, Steven here. If you are wondering what happens next, then download the Pocket FM app and listen to the exciting episodes of Mystic Tycoon Now with the link in the description.